everybody. Sorry I'm coming at you so late. I have been so busy today. Crazy busy. Which is good, right? We want busy. I like it. I appreciate it. I love the readings. Thank you so much. All right. We're working with my new deck. Oracle Mess or the Messenger of the Oracle. Um, I don't like the reflection. I always get a reflection. That's a message. So here we see someone sneaking away. Someone's leaving a situation. They're listening to their intuition and they're getting a hell out of dodge. Somebody back there. Um, they're being guided and they're listening. They've got helpers along the way. As you can see, the path has been lit up. The path is not going to this person. It's going away. Okay? Um, there's a woman there. So for some of you, it may, you may be leaving a woman. Uh, it could be a um, same-sex thing or it, a mother figure or a sister, daughter, cousin, who knows. But it looks like be a woman back there. Okay, so you're leaving the situation, and in the dark, in the dead of the night, you're just like jetting. I don't think they know, um, but you are, and it says embrace the dark. Okay, so this is the message I read from this, the card itself. Um, it's going into, it's going into fall. The leaves are starting to, be, they're gone off the trees here. So wherever you were, is a colder climate. There's still some leaves on, but not a lot, and we haven't lost our leaves yet here in California. So it's a colder climate, is what I'm getting. Not to mention she's dressed in a coat. Well, longer coat. Um, okay, so that's the message that I'm reading from the card itself. And embrace the dark now is talking about also your own darkness, embracing your own darkness. You know, we're, we're taught that, and I'm, I'm an Aries, and we're often black and white, and I've learned not to be that way because everything isn't black and white. You know, everything isn't either evil or good or negative or positive because things that go can go really, really bad, like this horrible situation, whatever it is, can inspire her to move towards love inspire her to do something that she hasn't done before hasn't listened to her heart before or his this can be a man leaving as well right um, but listening to their intuitive feminine energy which is the nurturing loving energy about time to love themselves because back here there was no love for this one this one was being used um, and I and I and, and the darkness was all around this one back there um, so it's also talking about embracing the dark and light in yourself because um, we're taught that if we're angry or if we dislike something or if we fear, we fear something, it's it's from the shadows. It's dark. But we, we need to embrace both. It's not the truth. Everything happens for a reason. This situation that happened here, this person that, that left in the dead of the night or just scooted out of there, um, that situation was there for a reason. It probably taught this one to stand up for themselves. It probably taught this one self-worth. It taught this one something that they didn't understand about this one that they thought was a light, which now they realize it's not. Um... So they had to go there. They had to go there and figure that out. It, 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 there's so many blessings that came from a negative situation. Um, it also shows that if there was a love there, it can, it can turn to destruction, right? If there was a love in the past and it turned to destruction, that happens. Also, destruction can turn into love. So she's leaving the love or he's leaving the, the, what, the old love and moving forward to the new love. So it, it's, things can shift that quickly, right? It also talks about um, the fact that these are our biggest lessons. The things and the most painful things are our biggest lessons, our biggest teachers. So learn from this so that you don't have to repeat this, right? Love this shadow, love this lesson. Because without the darkness, you're not gonna be able to see the stars and you're moving away from this dark and you're moving into the light. So that's that message. Wow, intense. Wow. Oh, I find this incredible. Look at my light above my, my panther. Dang. Astral realms, paying attention to the astral realms. The, the Black Panther um, is all about your highest, highest self. It's my twin's highest self, actually, and mine. And it speaks about uh, the astral realms connecting, like the stars all coming, and they're on fire. This panther's on fire. If this panther is the one that's escaped the situation, they now get it, and they have stepped into their own power, and they are on fire. They may be very angry. They may be very angry. Whoa! Check that out. When I moved forward, look how that lit up when I said they may be very angry. They're on fire. So use this fire purposely. Don't go for revenge. Allow karma to seek its revenge. The message is nourish the soul. I'm going to look up the number 29. I didn't look up the number on the first one. The first one was number 9. So let's look up 9 first. 9 says, get to work, light worker, now. So this is what this light worker was doing. This one has gifts that have been squelched because they were hanging around this younger one. It looks like a younger female. That was bad energy. So get, get to work, light worker. Um, you've completed something. You've completed it, it, something about your life purpose that it's done now. And it's, it's stop procrastinating. It's time to start taking action steps. Even baby steps are useful. 
That's what they're giving you. And this one is not only taking steps, this one is running. Because now this one has turned into this one. And they, they're on fire. Holy moly, their third eye is now on fire. Okay, so they're paying attention to what their intuitive self is telling them. And they are on fire. They are now being told to nourish the soul. So the number 29... <clears throat> The number 29, it doesn't have to do with the card, the message. It's just a message that you were meant to get. And it's telling you to stay positive. Stay positive about your life purpose. Put your focus in front of you. It's also about putting your focus on being service. Now, don't be of a doormat, but it's always when you, when you send love out, unconditional love out, um, you're able to use your natural talents and your passions and your interests. You're going towards your passion. Right? This one was leaving what was holding them down and, and, and causing them to be covered in darkness and they're moving forward. And it's interesting because it, this one appeared to be an angel of light. That I find interesting. Hold on, let's zoom in on this. I just picked up on that. Come on. Wow, and you know what? <laughs> Come on, help me out here, angels. She's a little blurry. She's a little out of focus. Okay, she's wearing a crown. She, I just heard the queen has been overthrown. She's got a staff and she's wearing a crown. She showed herself to be an angel of light and she is not. She is not. So beware people of ones that call themselves spiritual teachers. They are not all that. I had a message this morning of a friend who um, told me of a situation. She was not well and this person was a, told said that they were a healer and this person made moves on my friend and um, it was uh, it was very inappropriate using their spiritual um, gifts and using their the, the name of being a spiritual teacher to mislead this one so I feel like that kind of was what happened here because this one called themselves an angel of light and they were not and this one was hurt so they're fleeing the situation not all who call themselves spiritual teachers are coming from the light recognize that it's you united listen listen to what your soul is saying remember I asked for my twin to help me because I had people coming at me and what and 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 I just felt like everyone was coming from every every angle and why is this happening to me but I was already shown that that's what was going to happen to us and what was the message when I came back out after I washed my hands of it I literally washed my hands twice and when I washed my hands of the situation I came out and I asked again and this is the card that came out this is my twin soul the black panther and what he said to me was nourish the soul so pay attention to what your soul is saying this panther is on fire he's lit up his third eye is is, is aware his eyes have been opened and he is licking up what is he's drinking up the, the, the nourishment from the proper place now you're being asked to use all of your senses right now your 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 taste your hear hearing your vision all your your body language your your senses every sense that you have um, allow it touch taste smell hear experience everything all around you you're getting messages like crazy your life is meant to be a sensory experience. You're meant to pick up all of these things. And your and your life is meant to be on fire, but in a passionate, fun way. Not a, a, a place where you have to run in the middle of the night to escape this horrible situation. Right? You're, you're meant to have something beautiful. It's not meant to be boring. It's not meant to be tasteless. It's not meant to be simply black and white. It's supposed to be on fire. Passion. Passion, baby. They're telling you be sensual. The Black Panther is nothing if not sensual in touch with their sensual self. Absolutely, the Black Panther is. Woo! They want you to explore yourself and the world and nourish your soul all the way along the way with every moment. Nourish your soul. Drink it up, lap it off. Embrace what your soul has been begging for. You have turned away from what you thought was good for you and it was not. And now you're going to embrace what your soul says. Lights your fire. Baby, light my fire. Woo! Love it. Thank you for listening tonight. Uh, message to dream on will be coming hopefully a little earlier than it did last night hope you guys have had a great day peace love and light